Hello and welcome back everyone, today we will look back at the 1988 American movie License to Drive. We will revisit the cast of the movie and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivia facts about the show which you probably did not know, so let's jump right into it. James Avery, the esteemed American actor, gained fame as Uncle Phil on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. With a commanding presence and deep voice, he captivated audiences. His versatile career included notable roles in The Jeffersons, L.A. Law, and Grey's Anatomy, earning recognition and a loyal fan base. Avery's baritone voice left an impression, notably a shredder in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Off-screen, he mentored aspiring actors, embodying kindness. Though he passed in 2013, his remarkable body of work continues to captivate and inspire. James Avery's legacy endures, celebrated for his talent, dedication, and impact. Both Corey Feldman and Corey Hyam lacked a driver's license when filming commenced. They relied on other means of transportation. Heather Graham, a versatile and captivating actress, gained recognition with her striking beauty and talent in film and TV. Her breakthrough role in Boogie Nights solidified her rising stardom. Graham effortlessly transitions between genres, shining in romantic comedies like The Guru and tackling powerful roles in films like Drugstore Cowboy. Her TV appearances in Twin Peaks and Scrubs showcase her versatility. Graham's philanthropic efforts reflect her kind-hearted nature. Beloved and respected, she captivates audiences and leaves a lasting impact. For this film, nine Cadillacs were bought. The sleek vehicles were carefully chosen to enhance the visual appeal. They added a touch of luxury and elegance to the scenes, captivating the audience with their stylish presence. These nine Cadillacs proved to be a remarkable addition to the movie's allure. Richard Masser, a seasoned actor, showcases remarkable versatility in film and television. With a career spanning decades, he seamlessly transitions between comedy and drama, captivating audiences with charisma. Born in NYC on November 20, 1948, Masser gained prominence as Clark in the 1981 horror classic The Thing. His TV appearances, like David Keeler in One Day at a Time, garnered critical acclaim. As the Screen Actors Guild president, 1995 to 1999, Masser tirelessly protected actors' rights. His remarkable performances alongside Hollywood's elite earned respect worldwide. Masser's enduring legacy as an influential figure in entertainment is undeniable. In interviews, Feldman revealed his heart sinking upon learning Hyam had once again landed the lead role, beating him out. This had occurred previously with Lost Boys, Lucas, and Murphy's romance. Despite being best friends, they remained fierce rivals. Corey Feldman, a captivating actor, rose to prominence in the 1980s. With breakout roles in films like Gremlins, The Goonies, and Stand By Me, he established himself as a gifted child star. Transitioning into adulthood, Feldman embraced diverse roles, showcasing his versatility. He also pursued music, forming Corey Feldman and The Angels, despite facing criticism. Feldman bravely addressed personal struggles and emerged as an advocate for child actors, shedding light on industry issues. His impact on pop culture and unwavering advocacy make him an influential figure. Corey Feldman's legacy will continue to inspire. Certain VHS releases swapped Nia People's trouble with INXS new sensation in the movie, unlike the theatrical version. Corey Hyam, born on December 23, 1971, in Toronto, rose to fame as a teen heartthrob in the 80s. Known for films like The Lost Boys and License to Drive, he portrayed likable characters. Despite early success, personal struggles, including substance abuse, impacted his career. Tragically, he passed away on March 10, 2010, at 38. Haim's contribution to entertainment remains notable. His untimely death reminds us of the challenges faced by child stars. 
His memory lives on through his work and impact on fans. Corey Hyam, while shooting, was actively pursuing his driver's license.